Hello guys, it's Delta249er here with a tutorial on using EasyDoc Walk camera plugin for Flight Simulator X and um, basically this uh, gives you more camera options and some cool views and stuff and also you can walk around the world without you know moving your plane <laughs> um, so the download link will be in the description and uh, when you have these files you just want to double click um, the application here double click that it'll open this and at the top here you have help in help um, you have your keyboard the keys for uh, to press to do all these different things here you know it's all explained and then you have some steps to uh, for the walk camera and um, I'll show you how to use the walk camera too later in the video next you have sim connect DLL found and connect to FS um, if this is not found you put your the either the um, DLL for sim connect is missing or it's in a strange place um, if you don't change anything it should be okay but if it says not found you might want to look into that um, where it says connect to FS when you have flight simulator open um, it'll say connected and when you have it closed it'll say not connected um, in global settings you have head move you have the smoothing which you can adjust to whatever you want and you have the speed which you can also adjust I haven't found a good setting for it yet but um, there you go uh, and then you have enable mouth, mouse zoom over here and you can uh, what this does is it allows you to use your scroll wheel to zoom in instead of using the plus minus keys um, here you have cameras.config patch um, it uses or it changes your cameras.config file in your app data uh, flight simulator app data folder uh, so that it works and here you have world walk camera this is how you can just walk around the world without your um, you know without using driving without driving flying your plane around <laughs> I guess you would be driving it or taxiing it um, if you wanted to walk around but anyway um, you have body move in world camera um, and then you have the smoothing for that and the move speed then you have place camera in this pos aircraft position and it'll place it in the aircraft that you are using it'll place the camera in that position and you can delete the camera um, in settings you have hyper acceleration speed and you have acceleration speed just some more speed settings there and some more zoom settings you can set the smoothing and um, like the amount it zooms in I don't know how to explain that, but yeah, but you can uh, play around with these settings, see what works best for you. I haven't really found a good setting yet. I haven't really t um, tested it out or changed the numbers too much. And then you have virtual cockpit walk camera, and you have body move in virtual cockpit, and then you have the um, <clears throat> move s smooth, and then the speed, such uh, just like the other ones here. Um, and you can play around with that. Then you have separate head axis from body axis. You can separate um, this move body with the head and um, get some pretty cool views. You know, you can just play around with it, see what you get. Um, and that is about it for the program. Um, well, I'm going to show you how to use it in Flight Simulator. So I'm going to switch over to. Flight. So now that I'm in Flight Simulator, you'll see that, uh, you know, I'm just in an ultralight here. Juliana, but that's not important. Um, so there's a few, few basic things you need to know. Uh, one, you can move, or you can look around with your mouse, and you can zoom in and out with your mouse scroll wheel, which is cool. Go like all the way over there. You can see the oh jeez, uh, Bravo. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but and also with your arrow keys, you can move left, right, back forward 
and uh, with the page up and down keys you know page up is you can ascend and page down is you can descend and on your number pad uh, the one key is hyper acceleration the zero key is uh, just acceleration so it's a little bit slower than the hyper acceleration and then the delete key uh, just enables or disables it um, completely so depending if it's disabled then it'll enable it and if you know vice versa and uh, last thing if you go into custom uh, or in the world walk camera tab on the program if you hit place uh, camera in aircraft position and you close flight simulator and open it back up you will have a new camera and it's called world walk camera basically what this is it allows you to walk any or move around anywhere you want so you can see the epic water and stuff like that um, and that's really cool because you know you can just get like some really cool views of this go up like say there's a plane take it off and you you don't need a plane over here you can just take a uh, shot of that you know and uh, you can use all the same controls you know up down acceleration blah blah, blah. and uh, yeah that's about it um, it's pretty simple actually if you get the hang of it um, which doesn't take that long um, and if you have any questions feel free to leave them below or uh, personal message me or tweet them whatever you feel like doing and uh, I'll see you for my next video.